This is a Club Sport spoiler for a Mark 8 GTI, and we're gonna put it on this car. The Club Sport GTI is the fanciest GTI. It has better performance, better looks, but we didn't get that car here. Part of those better looks are the front bumper of the car, which we already have. Also, the spoiler. The stock spoiler on the GTI is little and sad, but the Club Sport slash Golf R spoiler is big and powerful. Little and sad? Big and powerful! Like my c All jokes aside, I'm a huge fan of how the Golf R slash Club Sport spoiler changes the roof line of the car. It goes straight out instead of dipping down, which gives the overall car a much more aesthetic look. Here's a side profile of this GTI with the stock spoiler. You can see the roof line dips down at the rear side of it. Here we can see the roof line goes straight out with the Club Sport spoiler, and it has a much more aggressive look. So you want one, right? But are they expensive? You're god right they're expensive. Right now the supply on these is complicated and this is as of this moment of filming this video which is October of 2022. Hello from the past, hope things are going better in the future. As of right now, these spoilers are difficult to come by at all. In the US, the only ones they have available are either black or blue. I know what you're saying, I don't have a black or blue car if I have a yellow car like this one. How would I acquire such a thing? Can I purchase one primed? Well, guess what, guys? Guess what? You can't. Now, however, there is a part number for a primed one, but you just can't buy it right now. So maybe in the future, where you're watching this from, you can purchase a primed one. We will link to a primed one on our site so that if it ever becomes available, you'll be able to see it. But as of right now, blue, black, and this one, Old Papa Paul imported from Europe yellow. I can import these from Europe for you painted. Uh, they will be very expensive, considerably expensive. If you're interested and you have a Mark 8, leave your color in the comments below where we can have an idea of maybe if you would like one. But again, a lot of money. So let's start a spoil install. My trunk's locked. All right, so to start, we're gonna pop these guys off of these trim pieces, mostly just so we have a working space here. Then we're gonna get our fingers behind this. Pop, pop, pop. I know it sounds scary and uh, it probably is scary for you, not scary for me. Uh, I also already took this off. So clips here, these are what hold it in. You just pop those in place. We, we got two clips missing. I'm also gonna pop these off on the side. As you can see, we lost the clip. Just slide that baby back in there. There we go, just like that. Now we're gonna take off this trim panel, same deal. Yahtzee. This is a really important fact when you're working on cars, not just for a job like this, but really any job. We can look at the new part to inform us exactly where we need to remove. So we can see we have a threaded hole here and we can see we have a stud, a stud, a stud, a stud, a stud, and another threaded hole. The rest of these are clips that are here, 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 here. So to start with our fasteners, we have a torque screw out here, and then we have one, two, three, four 10 millimeter nuts, torque screw there, and the last 10 millimeters behind this guy. Boop, 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 boop. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I'm gonna start with this one. I was gonna use a ratchet to do this, and then I remembered I don't have to. Yeah, be careful, don't drop these. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. <laughs> a magnet's gonna be a crucial one in this one, boys. If you drop one of these, you're gonna have a sad time. It's gonna be rattling around inside your deck lid. So don't do that. So what I'm gonna do is magnetize my socket. Like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I did it. <laughs> uh, you see that? You put the magnet on the socket. We're gonna do this 10 millimeter. We have some extra wires from our taillights. I'm gonna do the magnet thing again. I hope, I know I'm gonna lose one just for the sake of this video. And then I'm gonna to have to find it in the video. Only you can prevent forest fires. Ooh, why? They're thread locked. I'm gonna be super careful when I'm doing this just because I don't wanna damage the paint by scratching it with this pick. Handy dandy magnet. Ooh, ooh. ooh, that was close. So for sure, let's look a little bit because for sure there's some electrical things attached up there. I don't know what they are. 
So let's take a look. Yeah, there we go. Scary, right? <laughs> yeah. There we go. So here, so I just pulled this grommet out so I can get a feel for where we're at inside the car. I could have looked up the repair information on this before I started this job, but instead we're finding out together because I'm stupid. Do I have access to all the information because I have a shop? Did I take advantage of that by looking up the information before I started this install? Absolutely not. Verify this is the wire we're working with. So what I'm gonna do is disconnect this. This is the washer jet here. So it's not a wire, that's a hose. And then there is this guy right here. Just clips in there. So we take this pick, lift that up, and then slide it out like that. That's why. And that guy is just a clip like that. These are gonna be fine because the car is new, but if your car is old, these are brittle and they could break. There's a part that actually holds it to the body of the car here. So these you kind of just wiggle and pull like this. You gotta dance her back. You'll be able to see in just a second what these look like. There you go. These, here's these stupid clips. That's what they look like. And the other one looks the same. <clears throat> There you go. Now we should be able to just remove our spoiler. Just like this. Weep. Oop. Well, there we go. We're, we're caught. There we go. Just like that. So on your new spoiler, it kind of comes already mounted with this thing kind of just like tucked in. That's sometimes you gotta tuck it back. Uh, and so what we do you just un unclip it and then we can just feed that through. This would be an opportune time just to be clear. If you did actually drop one of those screws in, this would probably be a good time to try to retrieve it with a magnet through one of these holes. At this point, you're not gonna wanna drop it because it will be really expensive if you did. So feed this guy into your hole and I'm gonna try to feed it towards the center because you know, yeah, that's where you gotta go. At this point, we should have shown you reinstalling that grommet right inside the deck lid, but we didn't. So don't make sure you don't forget it because you'll have water in your trunk. Kind of want to get these holes lined up. All right, look at that. I'm not gonna pop any of these clips in or even attempt to until I make sure our hose and wire are fed in. I literally can't believe it. They just came right through where they were supposed to. That never happens. I'm gonna take one of these nuts and thread it in to this one right here, just so that this guy doesn't fall out and we know we're in a good spot. So thread one in to make sure I don't drop any. So I put it inside, then I go down at an angle like this. And so I kind of rotate up and I get it on before I'm even straight on the, at the stud. That way you don't drop it on the ground or inside the hatch. We know we're in the right spot, right? Cool, perfect. There is a weather strip here. You wanna make sure it stays where it's supposed to uh, underneath. Now we're ready to pop this thing on. As you remember, it was scary to go on or scary to come off. It's gonna be scary to go back on. So you're gonna be doing a little, little Hulk smashing. And we're gonna go in with this one, same trick. Go in and then up at the angle to prevent a major issue. This one I'm not gonna use power tools on because I have a feeling these studs are fragile. They're Italian. So you can see that that doesn't quite line up exactly in the hole. So what you do is you can kind of pull on the spoiler and you can see it move. And sometimes you gotta do stuff like that. Now I'm looking if everything lines up appropriately. Everything's good, no issues. To put these back on, take these guys, you slide them in here, like so. There we go. You can see it kind of, when it gets it in the right spot, it just sits down. You can see this is kind of lined up right here, this seam. And then when you get in the right place, bang, 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 like that. Same thing on this side, uh, all aboard the struggle bus. Pop, pop. There we go. Now, don't forget your grommet, boys and girls. Take, 
take your grommet, pop it like that, and I know, whoo-hoo. Uh, I'm missing these right now because I've had this trunk apart 900 times. Oh, f we didn't plug in this. <laughs> we almost forgot what was about to happen is you turn on your rear washer jet and it would just spray <laughs> washer fluid all over your trunk. That's what I was about to do. Plug it in and then put the clip on. You should give it a little tug. It's worthwhile to consider testing this before putting this trim panel on, but I'm not gonna, because I believe in myself. Same deal, pop, pop, there we go. This is a good example right here, but you can kind of, you gotta get that into its hole and you gotta kind of stretch everything up before you do that. And then you can kind of rotate this in. And yeah, see, so you hear that? You hear that, how they popped? And this thing's sitting like kind of flat. It's not flat, but it's kind of flat. Now, before you start smashing away like the Hulk, make sure it's sitting like this. Otherwise, you're gonna Hulk smash yourself into a, into a new trim panel. So that was a pretty easy install. I think the hardest part about doing this spoiler is paying for it. But the dudes who look at you and come talk to you about your car are gonna love you. Oh yeah, buy one from us too. Don't buy it from anybody else. Buy it from us. Did, yeah. Also remember the color thing, the um, comments.